Hello friends, welcome to another C++ interview question and the question is why vector was introduced in the first place in C++ and uh, this is really very interesting question and this is the answer for that. It gives advantage of using array and linked list both. Okay, so you are using array and linked list in conjunction if you are using vector in your code. So if you try to remember what was the advantage of using array, the array was giving you index based access to your element which was the fastest access to the element and the advantage of linked list was you was creating it dynamically which was the drawback of array you need to give the size of array initially when you are compiling it that was the drawback of array and the drawback of linked list was there was no index based access if you want to access let's say 100th element then you have to go from 0 to 100 okay so that was the drawback of linked list so how vector is using advantage of both array and the linked list? We'll see that with this code. And as I said, it grows dynamically. So if you will insert this one here, its size will become one and the capacity will become one. So before this insertion, its capacity was zero. So let's check that. I'll just copy and paste this code here and little more indentation. And we'll just simply compile that. See. Initially the size and the capacity was 0, after inserting this one element into that, size became 1 and the capacity become 1. So as you can see here, it is incrementing dynamically, okay. That was the advantage of using linked list in your code. And the second advantage of using vector in your code is, it gives you the index base access to the element. We will see that in a moment. So let's just simply print that value. I am using only one value here so that I will be printing only one index okay let's compile that code uh oh and run that so it is giving you the first element here whatever you inserted you inserted one in that so it is giving you that one if you would have inserted more than one like this let's say you inserted two the same axis and this time you will call it 1 and you can just simply run that code and see that it is giving you 2. So this is the advantage of using vector. You can get index based access. So that's it. Thanks for watching and make sure you like and subscribe so that you will get the notification for future coming videos like this. Bye bye.